What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Fantasy Football Game Show presented by Front Yard Fantasy. Sorry, presented by FanDuel and Front Yard Fantasy. I'm your host, Simon, joined as always by my co-hosts, Josh and John Luke. That's us. Um, and how's it going, guys? That's us. That's great. us. You said my name. Friday. Friday. It's Friday. Let's go. Hey guys, today we have a special guest joining us here to play some Fantasy Fortune. And he let us know already. He came here to win. You may know him from TikTok on the Fantasy Gods. He's also creating social content for FanDuel. And he's on Twitter at Justin Henry with a three instead of an E. What's up, my man, Justin? What's going on, guys? Appreciate you guys having me on, man. I'm excited to be here. Excited to win. Let's play. <laughs> Hate to disappoint you, Justin. Hate to disappoint you. I don't know. I see that trophy in the back, man. I'm just not sure because uh, I got, I got one myself anymore. too, you know. <laughs> got one sitting over here too. Yeah. Battle we're, of the trophies. Group. Uh oh. Group full of winners. I love it. <laughs> JL and Simon have been hot lately. You better watch out, Justin. I mean, you know, earlier on, the contestants were winning every game, but JL and Simon, they've been hot. So we're, we're figuring I'm it excited. out. We're figuring it out. <laughs> you know, they say know your opponent, and I kind of know some stuff here and there. I know on if you see me on Fantasy Guys, you've seen the silly side, you've seen a little bit of the insight, but y'all gonna see today. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> He's bringing it. J, J Wall's in the chat. He's ready to go too. He says, "Let's get it." And then Ooh. J Wall said, "Is that a Lance jersey you got on?" It's time, <laughs> Trey Lance. He's here. <laughs> it's it. time, Trey Lance. And Maria in here said, hey, FYF fam, and Josh looking sharp. Man, that pink and blue combo is – you are you are looking fly up there, Josh. I'm telling you. I try. I try. I, let, let me just – I've worn this before. This is, this is my favorite combination of just uh, tie, suit, and shirt. So, yeah. Josh is like, I know I look good. I know, I, know. I look good. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> Guys, we are here to play some Fantasy Fortune. Before we get started, though, I want to remind you of a couple of things. One, if you are here watching right now, you're already on the FanDuel YouTube or Twitch channels. Hit that subscribe button on YouTube, the follow button on Twitch. Um, it's the easiest way to support us and make sure you're getting access to all this fire content that FanDuel's putting out on the regular. We have two streams a week for them, but there are so many awesome content creators going live, putting out content with FanDuel. You want to make sure you're not missing it. Then check out FanDuel on Twitter, TikTok. They're FanDuel on everything, so make sure you are following them over there as well. And two, we are live Monday through Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern time on the Front Yard Fantasy YouTube channel. So if you like the games we're playing here, you want to get some more of us, our goofiness, our shenanigans, the competitiveness that we bring, make sure you're tuning in Monday through Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern time on our YouTube and Twitch channels. That is Front Yard Fantasy. Josh, we brought hey. Justin here today to play some Fantasy Fortune. Um, I'm going to pass it off to you to go ahead and explain the rules a little bit and get us started. All right. You want to know the rules? I can, I can hit you with some rules. All right. We're playing Fantasy Fortune today, guys. Uh, Fantasy Fortune. It's a lot like Wheel of Fortune. You know, I'm going to throw it up right here. Look, look, it looks like Wheel of Fortune, right? But we got rid of that wheel. That's the difference. Instead of spinning a wheel, the contestants, Simon, JL, you guys, all you guys, including Justin, so we got all these J's. We, we know so many J's. We know so you many know, J's. And we but... just added Joey to the front yard team. Too many J's. Joey, oh J, God, JL, J's. Josh, and Simon. Like, this is, uh, I'm getting outnumbered here. Yeah, we should have brought JJ on this stream. <laughs> we probably should have. But anyway, we got rid of the wheel. We are not playing Wheel of Fortune. We're playing Fantasy Fortune. Instead of spinning the wheel, the contestants will be asked a 50-50 question. It could be who had more receiving yards uh, so far this season, Robert Woods or Allen Robinson. If you get the answer correct, you will get to guess a letter for the puzzle. If you get it wrong, if you get anything wrong, we move on to the next contestant. If you get a, if uh, you'll be rewarded five hundred dollars for each consonant. Vowels will cost hundred dollars each. If you want to buy a vowel, just let me know. If you guess anything wrong, like I said, we move on to the next contestant. If it's your turn and you think you can solve the puzzle, go ahead and solve it. You gotta say exactly what's up there. And we do have a somewhat new rule that we added a couple a couple uh, episodes ago. If in a row you answer three of the questions correctly and guess the correct letter for the puzzle, you will automatically bank that money and that you've earned so far that round. And you'll be able to guess for the puzzle. If you can't solve, we move on to the next person. But again, you get to bank that money. It's a good thing. Whoever collects the most money over the course of the game will be our champion today. Let's go. Let's, Let's go. do it. And we got Jay Wall in the chat saying three, five. The three, five crew is here ready to represent. Three, five, Justin, we have another game where we're guessing the results of trade pools. Like you guess the percentage that chose a side and the chat's always playing along with us. But one day they decided to all give a collective answer. Mm -hmm. One answer, 35%. And they nailed it exactly on the head. Got it exactly right. 
So they've renamed themselves the three, five crew and they come in to dominate these games that we're playing. J Wall is a, well, they have try five crew. Bring me a little bit of luck. I need a little <laughs> bit of luck on this one. Try five crew. They say three, five and straight vibing exactly. is their slogan over there. <laughs> exactly. And just a quick, a couple quick updates. It looks like Chase Claypool is going to play this week, guys. Um, something we didn't cover in our previous show. Uh, Max Williams, he's questionable for week five. So we were actually just talking about him as like uh, a possible start. Um, you got to look out for that. George Kittle's doubtful. So if you have him in your lineups, you got to find a backup. You got to find a backup because it looks like he probably will not play. So the, person who, at, the person who asked Dawson Knox versus George Kittle earlier, I changed my answer. Um, <laughs> if, you, if you're somehow still watching right now. <laughs> Dawson Knox. <laughs> and Maria coming in here with some uh, cheers for you, Justin, saying you got it, Justin. She's pulling for you. Hey, Maria, much love. You know, I, I just noticed a major coincidence. The jersey is a Trey jersey. The number is five. We might be set up for some oh, success here with the Trey Black crew. Are trouble, JL. Easter egg. <laughs> Josh, you ready up there? Is Josh frozen? Did we lose our host? His tie is frozen up there. Or, yeah, he's, he's not <laughs> That's okay. Right. There he is. <laughs> Don't is fret. Surprised. Don't fret. He's the first I was ready. You know what, Jay Wall? We'll give you that credit. You can have that W right now. Are we ready, no, Josh? You, no, no, you weren't. It wasn't Jay Wall. Someone else. <laughs> and Jay Wall definitely did not beat me in a race. <laughs> All right. Let, let's let's get started, guys. Um, before the show, we determine the order. Simon, you're going first. Justin, you're going second. Mm-hmm. JL, you're going third. How you guys feel about that? It doesn't matter. I don't care, Jay. <laughs> I feel I feel fantastic. I I wish you wouldn't change it. JL don't change it, Josh. Change it. Don't change it. I'm not gonna now. I want to change it. I, I wanted you to be upset with it, honestly. That was my all friend right. all along. Let's, <laughs> Let, let's get in there, guys. Simon, we're coming to you first for let's the first puzzle. It. And like typically, like I, I like to start. I just want to you know start with an NFL player. Ease us in there. This is just some player in the NFL. I'll tell you this: he either plays quarterback, wide receiver, running back, or tight end. Let's go. So, Simon. Oh, I need you a question. Think you can guess it. No, oh, you need, need a question. question. Yeah. All right. Well, Simon, your first question is: In a PPR league, over the course of the entire season so far, who has scored more fantasy points in a PPR league over the course of the season? Is it Brandon Cooks or is it Mike Williams? Mike Williams. Mike Williams is the correct answer, Simon. Great job so far. Good start. What letter would you would you like? Give me an N. An N? N. There's no N N in this player's name. Justin, good news for you, because we are coming to you next. Yes, sir. Just so you know, if you think you can solve it, you can go ahead. I've seen a couple people solve it without any letters. It doesn't happen typically, just so you know. And a reminder for everyone, Justin, JL, make sure you guys are out of the comments and in the private chat. Our viewers are generally a lot smarter than we are and figure out the puzzle before we do. Um, So make sure you guys are in the private chat instead of the comments and we're good. I'm locked into the private chat. (laughs) Yes, I'm locked into the screen, to be honest. (laughs) So let's go go with the question. I can't guess that one right now. Perfect, perfect. I didn't assume you would, but yeah, I, I like to give you an opportunity just in case. All right, Justin. So in a PPR league, over the course of the season so far, who has more fantasy points so far? Is it James Conner or is it Chase Edmonds? Chase Edmonds is right. Chase Edmonds is absolutely the That's my guy. No touchdowns. That's my guy. Yeah, he catches all those passes. He's good to go. Justin, great job. What letter would you like? Well done. Let's go. Let's go with the R. He's going with an R. Good Ooh. guess, Justin. You have two R's. That is going to bank you, or it's going to add $1,000 to your total for this round. Justin, we can move on to another question. You can also hmm. buy a vowel or solve the puzzle. Double R's. I want to solve this because I think I already know it. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So I know. You, no, so but, I'm gonna, it, but I want to get more questions, though, because I, 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 I know I think I know the answer to this already. All right. All right. So you want to go for another question? I'm going to go with another question. I'm going to go with another question. The cojones on this man. I, I, I like it. I like it a lot. All right, Justin. In the heat. So through the, uh, throughout the entire season so far, who has more receiving yards throughout the entire season? Is it DJ Moore or is it Marquise Brown? More receiving yards. I got to go with DJ. 
DJ Moore is absolutely the correct answer. He has 398 receiving yards. He's actually fourth in the NFL in terms of receiving yards. Great job, Justin. What letter are you like? Uh, Let's go with an L. He's going with an L. There's one L, Justin. There's one L. So you've accumulated $1,500 so far this round. You can still buy a bell. Which will cost $100 just, each. I want to prove that I knew it the whole time. After I got right. cars, I just want to prove it. And then let's bank it. You know, I want to come in last and get a zero yeah, in this yeah. game. So I want to solve the puzzle. Go ahead. What is it? Latavius Murray. Yo. Great. Nice. I could not I get could that. figure it out. You got there with the double wow. R's. Yeah. yeah. Great job, Justin. And right before you said it, Justin, J Wall came in with the correct answer saying Latavius Ooh. Murray. All right. Ooh, love like, it, love it. It's, it seems like you got it before even J Wall got it. I'll tell you this not too often do people get the answer when they're on the show here before the chat gets it. Am I right? Hey, I, told, no, I told you I'm a competitive son of a gun, man. That's what I do, <laughs> man. This is what I do. Well, good start so far. Hey, Justin, can I ask you something real fast here? Uh, and it's about Latavius Murray. Do you think he can be a reliable fantasy asset going forward? Oh, I think when you're looking at PPR formats, this isn't the guy that you really want. Uh, he's not going to get the pass catches that you're looking for. But I think if you're in a standard league and you're in a deeper standard league, they're going to have to get him in there and, and kind of get him a little bit more involved in the rotation. Obviously, Tyson Williams was not part of their uh, their future planning. And they're bringing Le'Veon Bell in. So, I still think he gets the bell cow work. It's just when you got Lamar Jackson back there playing running back too, it's tough, man. It's tough. So I would see him as like a, a safe flex option during these bye weeks, not somebody you want to lock in as your RB2, so to speak. I could not agree more, Justin. Does anyone have anything else to add? I, I, I couldn't agree. I, I do not think he's a reliable option at all, but I think he's a guy you can throw in your lineup. I'm okay having him on my bench and throwing him in, in just in case. Does anyone disagree? I I think a lot of people are going to be forced to start Latavius Murray the next couple of weeks because the running back landscape is disgusting right now. And we're, we're approaching bye weeks. Like, like you said, Justin, um, I think Latavius Murray is a fine start given the current landscape of running backs. It, it's okay. Um, I'm not excited about it though. Justin hit the nail on the head with the reasoning. And we do have a question here in the chat from Jay wall. I'm assuming it's for this this upcoming week. Are you starting Latavius Murray or Randall Cobb? I guess we'll assume a PPR league. Ah, this is Murray for me. It's Murray for me as well. I think you got to go Murray for the floor. There's guaranteed work for Murray. There's not guaranteed work for Cobb in this game. Yeah, he's getting 40 uh, 40 plus percentage of the the snaps there in Baltimore. So I would rather have Murray here. Yeah, you're chasing the Cobb game. You already had that last week. Yeah. And, oh, and I, I tweeted this out earlier. Someone, someone in our dynasty, one of our dynasty leagues, offered me a uh, Randall Cobb for Travis Etienne. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> that's beautiful. <laughs> well, dude, Etienne's and you smashed, to play you this smashed year, accept, right? right? I smashed <laughs> accept. They know exactly what I do for a living yet. <laughs> they were just like, you know what? Let's see. Let's and see. you love Etienne. Like that's even yeah. That you're a Clemson grad, <laughs> yeah. fantasy analyst. Yeah, that is a uh, that's pretty good. Great, uh, oh, great question, Jay Wall, and anyone else watching, feel free to throw in your questions, uh, your fantasy questions in here. We'll try and get them. We love questions. And another reminder for everyone watching, play along like Jay Wall just did, because rumor has it from time to time, yeah, FanDuel really? Daddy is in here watching. And if you're killing it in the chat, they've been known to give out some FanDuel funds. Um, so if you are, if you're killing it in the chat, playing along with us, there's a chance uh, there's some FanDuel stuff coming your way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, hey, Justin, great job so far. You got out to an early lead. You did not even give JL a chance to play. <laughs> <laughs> you, you knew I'm it was Latavius fun. Murray the whole time. E easy first round for you, Justin. But we're moving on to JL. You are going to start the next round. You ready, JL? I'm ready. All right. This is a little bit more uh, a little bit more moving parts here. A little, a little bit more going on. Um, this is a week four highlight, so this is something that happened in week four that, you know, I thought was relevant and worth discussing. So, JL, you ready for your first question? I'm yes, assuming sir. you can't solve. Uh, almost. I just need, like, one more word, but go ahead. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, so here I'm going to give you some context, JL. Cooper Cup, he has 523 receiving yards so far this season, including last night, including last night, 523 receiving yards. Does Debo Samuel have over or under 450 receiving yards? Why did you throw in the Cooper Cup part? I just wanted to give you some context. <laughs> uh, he has uh, under. 
I'm sorry, it's over. Damn he has it. 490. He has 490. The Cooper Cup bar threw me off. I know. I got you. I got you. I wanted to confuse you a little bit. But Cooper Cup does have 523. <laughs> he's and, and leading Debo the NFL. Debo number two, second. right? Yeah. He's uh, how many does he have? He would be number one if it wasn't for last night. Okay. He has 490. So do we have four, 419. Yeah. 490. 490. Okay. I was going to say that's not. You're like, not, no, I was right. I was right with my under. Uh, all right. Yeah, yeah. All right, Simon, we're coming to you. Are you ready for your first question? Let's do it. All right. All right. Um, in terms of passing yards, in terms of passing yards throughout the entire season, who has more? Who has more? Is it is it Kyler Murray or is it Daniel Jones? Oh, man. I Man, I'm not even thinking about like actual football now. I'm just thinking, how is Josh trying to mess with me with this one? Like, uh-huh. is, he, is it you the double know. reverse? Is it the single reverse? Is it like the super trick? I'll, I'll go Daniel Jones. I'm buying into your trick question. It's Kyler Murray. I knew it. <laughs> Kyler Murray has 1,273 passing yards so far this season. He's number four in the NFL, only behind Tom Brady, Derek Carr, and, well, Matthew Daniel Stafford. Jones. The question we didn't think we would have had to ask was, who has more rushing yards, Kyler Murray or Daniel Jones? That's actually a really good question. It's got to be Murray, right? It's I don't. I have no clue. I actually want to. I want to. I want to. I want to check that for you. And the answer is Daniel Jones with 188 rushing yards compared to Kyler Murray's 109. Daniel Jones. Wow. Yo, you, him up in the wow. rushing category. you would have gotten me with that one again. I mean, not that you wait, didn't get me with the passing one, but <laughs> wait, so are, are our two quarterback rushing leaders in the year, Sam Darnold and Sam Darnold Daniel, rushing touchdown. And, and no, 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 no. In terms of rushing yards, Sam Darnold is not quite as high as you might think. Okay. okay. <laughs> He's just punching uh, it in. Sam Darnold only has 52 what rushing yards. Um, Lamar Jackson's number one, as you might expect, followed by Jalen Hurts and Daniel Jones is number three. Wow. All right. That makes sense. All right, Justin, we're coming to you. Are you ready for your oh, question? Reminder, get out of the chat. Oh, yeah, get out. I'm out. Get out of the yeah, I'm, I'm not in the chat, man. They weren't even, they weren't like, even considering. I'm here to win fair. All right. So throughout the season so far, Justin, who has more fantasy points? Who has more fantasy points in a PPR league throughout the entire season? Is it Alvin Kamara or is it Daryl Henderson? Counting yesterday's game? Yes, I, I will mention Daryl Henderson missed another week. Uh, that's actually Did, tough. Am I tricking you with that? Uh, yes, a little bit because he was. <laughs> I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Henderson. Henderson is correct. I thought hey, I was gonna hey, pull you there, yeah, Justin. Yeah, great job. I had to ask. I had to great ask freaking job, Justin. That All game right. last night, I think it took him over Kamara. Yeah, he's number nine scoring running back uh, in the NFL right now. But I, again, I want to mention he missed a week, so he's played just as many weeks as everyone else technically. Mm-hmm. But he had a good good night last night. Um, so, what letter would you like, Justin? Let's go with a T. You're going with the T. And there's one T in this big old Ooh. puzzle. There's only one T. Who would have guessed? But it does put five hundred dollars into your. Score for this round. Justin, you can buy a vowel or we can move on to the next question. Let's go question. All right. This one's going to be a little different. So I'm interested to see how how you like this. Okay. True or false? True or false? The Jaguars are two-point underdogs to the Titans this weekend. True or false? Two-point underdogs to the Titans. Man, really? Yeah, Uh... I'm hitting you with it. I'm hitting you with it. According to FanDuel Sportsbook. Okay. I didn't look at the lines. So the Jets, I know the Jets were like six point dogs last week. And Jet, I would, and it depends on what they're playing too. Uh, I'm going to go with false. That is absolutely false. <laughs> I'm like, we got to be more than that. The Jaguars are four and a half point underdogs to the Titans this weekend. Great job, Justin. Hey, pick another letter. Nice job. Uh, let's go with N. You're going with an N as in Nancy? N as in Nancy, yes. There's only one N, but hey, you, you, keep, you, keep, you, keep, you keep moving here. You keep moving here. Man, by the skin of my teeth, I'm trying to figure out what that word is. That's a hard word right there. Yeah, I know, right? You can buy a vowel. You can buy a vowel. Or we can move on to another question. And Could to keep tango. in mind, if, if you get three questions in a row right, plus the correct letters, you'll bank that money automatically. You get to guess the puzzle, but we move on to the next person if you can't get the puzzle. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, I'm going to go to the next question. 
All right, let's get into the next question here. All right. Um, so far throughout the entire season in a PPR league, who has more fantasy points? Is it Kenneth Gainwell? Or is it Javante Williams? Mm. Mm. That's a tough mm. one. They're probably know, very right? similar. They're probably very similar. But I think I'm going to lean on Kenny Gainwell because I think he had a pretty good game one time. And Javante's had some good plays, but not bad game. I'm going to go with Kenny Gainwell. Going with Kenny Gainwell. And that is correct, Justin. Hey. Man. I told man, if y'all bring a ringer. A ringer. Yeah, yeah. 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 You're, you're killing it. Uh, Kenneth Gainwell throughout the season has 46.8 fantasy points, while Javante Williams has 35.6. Great job, well Justin. Done. What letter would you like? And if you get this letter, you're automatically banking this money. All right, let's go with R. He's going with an R. There are two nice. R's. So, Justin, you can go ahead and guess at the puzzle. I feel like it's going to be a tough one, but you are banking this money. Okay, awesome, awesome. Um, I have I have a sense of the first part of it, just not... You can also complete. buy vowels. Well, not you're probably not going to do that right now. <laughs> I got no money. I have oh, yeah, the money yeah. now, right? That's yeah, yeah. Point. All right, next question it is. I'm not going to solve it. All right, all right, JL, we're going to you. We're going to you. You banked right. that money, though, Justin, so you got a nice lead. JL, are you ready for your question? Yeah, Simon, we got to pick it up here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys let the newbie come in, man. Justin's wiping the floor with us. All right, JL, in a PPR league, who has scored more fantasy points throughout the season? Is it Robert Woods? And yes, I'm including last night. Is it Robert Woods? Or is it DJ Moore? Robert DJ Woods Moore. played one more game. DJ, DJ Moore? Moore? Yep. DJ Moore is the correct answer. I am so impressed, JL. He's he's significantly still outscoring Robert Woods. Great job. What letter would you like? Um, I will take I'll take an S. He's taking an S. <laughs> JL, there are four S's, which is gonna put two thousand dollars into your score for this round. JL, you can buy a vowel. Uh, may I buy, buy an A? You may. And thank you thank you for asking uh, so kindly. Uh, there there are four <laughs> A's that you're going to lose you 400 bucks. But hey, that's definitely developing the puzzle here. You Getting a feel for this? You, you want to buy another I'll vowel buy or we can move on to the next question I'll, as well? I'll, I'll buy another vowel. I'll buy an, um, I'll buy, I guess I will buy an E. He's buying an E. There are four E's. Wow, four E's and four Four A's. JL, how you feeling here? You can still buy an R vowel or we can move on to the next question. Oh, I got it. Um, I got it. Okay, yeah. off. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Kadarius Tony has impressive game. Oh, JL. Yes, that is absolutely Ooh. the correct answer. And I, I am yet. impressed by that you awesome. solving Great that puzzle, job. honestly. I don't know oh. if anyone in the did someone in the chat get it. I I, I think you got it before anyone that in the chat. That was a tough one, Jail. Dude, I, good job. Can, I, can we end the game there? I don't I don't want to. I'm, I know I'm just gonna <laughs> let everyone down after this, and I want to end on a high note. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I I I don't see. I don't think anyone got it. Jail, you got it before everyone in the chat. Talk about an impressive round. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. So so uh, Jail. Um, I want to come to you first here. Kadarius Tony, uh, did he impress you this week? Yeah, he looked very good. Um, I, I think a lot of people got this sort of like, I don't know. The, I think he got this like stigma from the fantasy community that he wasn't going to be good, that the Giants made a mistake um, because they, they may have reached on him. But he looked very impressive. I, I do think that he has some some aspects of his game he needs to refine. But I'm I, if I'm a fantasy manager, I want explosive players like him or at least have the potential to be explosive. Uh, on my fantasy team. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I feel you there. I, I would say that um, while Sterling Shepard and Darius Slayton are out, uh, Kadarius Tony could be a usable asset once they come back. I'm, you know, I probably yeah. am not going to be interested, but in a dynasty league, Kadarius say, Tony. That's I, his I, dynasty yeah. buy win. Wait yeah, till exactly. those players come back, wait a couple games, and then go try to trade for Kadarius Tony in your dynasty leagues. Um, I agree with you. That dude looked like a playmaker with the ball in his hands. Not refined, but he just looked like a playmaker. I I'm excited to see what happens are, with him. Are any of you uh, brave enough to, to throw him in your lineup this weekend? If about, I think you could. Nah. I don't have him on any team, so I don't have to make that decision. This is a less real so decision maybe like for me a, than most of the ones lineup? I talk about. If I think Fanduel lineup, it makes a lot of sense. 
Yeah, I think I, I think, think Kadarius awesome. Tony. We've seen the receivers come in and have such a big impact. People are impatient, and even the players get impatient. They're like, "Man, I have an opportunity to come in, and you got to use what do you say? Got to use your race car, your luxury car, whatever he said." It's, yeah. it's one of those things. Sometimes as a rookie, you have to learn. You have to go through the growing pains, just like everybody else, and wait for your opportunity. So his opportunity came. He maximized it. I like the kid. So FanDuel in here saying, "Happy Friday, everyone! Happy Week Five! Happy Week Five, happy indeed!" Week. Five and then saying, would have never guessed, K. You know what? Me neither. Um, and Craig, who was on a delay, he said he wasn't watching live. He accidentally was on a delay. He <laughs> almost got Craig. there. He got Kadarius Tony something for the answer. Close enough. But, Craig. Welcome to the but, future, Craig. But, but honestly, I was <laughs> I was kind of expecting someone was going to get Kadarius Tony right there. But it has impressive game. I thought you were going to have trouble. With, but jail. Yes, I didn't yes. have any of it when you asked me. It, it all just <laughs> it somehow all happened in my head at the last second. And Craig, Craig wanted to know, do you only answer fantasy football questions or all questions? We'll answer almost like, anything you throw our way, Craig. Yeah, Almost anything, yeah. we'll, we'll give you an answer On FanDuel, for it. it's almost anything. On Front Yard Fantasy, it's everything pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> this, is the, this is buttoned up. <laughs> Look this at is me. where Josh wears a suit. Yeah. yeah. Right, let's go. We're buttoned up tonight. We're buttoned up tonight. All right. You want to get into the next puzzle, guys? I'm ready. Let's I'm out of the comments. I'm in the private chat, and I'm ready for my question. Justin has a solid lead still after banking all that money last round and getting the puzzle right the first round. JL, you have 1200 bucks, Simon. Woo. You got to catch up. But we are coming to you first here, Simon. All right? Let's do it. Here is the next puzzle. And we have NFL teammates. These are two players, first and last name, separated by the end sign, the ampersand, uh, that are on the same team. All right, Simon? I know. I, I see you. I would there. like you're to count, solve. You're counting the. No way. Tony Pollard and Amari Cooper. Oh my God! You're wrong. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> hey, that looked good though. That looked good. <laughs> the Pollard is a little bit. That looked good. That was a good guess. It fits. It fits <laughs> it in does. there, and it came right away. I'll pass my turn gracefully since I'm wrong. It does wow. fit. But it fits it does perfectly. Fit. Wow. <laughs> Holy Damn, Josh, that you did me so dirty. Cool. That would have been so. What are the cool, chances? Man. Wow. Wow, but you're wrong. You're wrong. Yeah, I'll take the L. Go on to Justin, scared, but I, I tried. Oh, that kind of. I'm not guessing. I'm not guessing that, man. That's wow. I'm still. I thought, I thought he was gonna I'm, get it. I feel intimidated. Oh, I'm so a little disappointed. Bit. Oh my goodness. All right, Justin, we're coming to you for your next question. Over the course of the entire season, I'm gonna give you a little context. Travis Kelsey, he has 24 receptions on the season. All right, does that make sense? Yep. Does Dalton Schultz have over or under 17 receptions? Under. He has over. Ooh, I'm sorry, he has 20. Man. Yeah, yeah. Dalton He's Schultz is killing though. it. He's been he balling. has just a couple receptions under Travis Kelsey. Yeah, I think it just goes to show how well Dalton Schultz has been playing. Absolutely. Um, a little tricky there, though, Justin. I, well, you know, I, I, agree with I that. was expecting that, you know, I think where I was tying his value has been the touchdowns because he's been playing at a really high level. I just didn't think the catches were up there. And with the catches, man, obviously, like if he's playing that high of a level, uh, just where you said 17 catches or just he's, under he's 20, Travis? Tw 20 catches. 20 catches, man. That's, I mean, that's a really good start for him. And obviously, there's so many weapons there in Dallas. Not sure he keeps the pace, but uh, he's been playing at a really high level. You got to value him at a tight, as a tight end one at this point. Yeah, yeah. Low end tight end one, absolutely no yeah. doubt in my mind, personally. JL, we're coming to you with the next uh, question. You ready? Unless yep. you want to try to pull a Simon here and solve mm, this. And no. solve it incorrectly. <laughs> <laughs> I could do that, for sure. Uh, I'll take sure. a question. All right, JL, JL, uh, we, we're going to the FanDuel Sportsbook for this one. We are going to the FanDuel Sportsbook. Oh, I, I can Let's see go. the fear in your eyes, JL. I can see I'm, the fear I in your eyes. I already lost $100. That's just always there, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> True or false, JL, the Dolphins are nine and a half point underdogs to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers this week. True. True or false. That is absolutely true. The Dolphins are nine and a half point underdogs to the Tampa B Tampa Bay Buccaneers this week. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Tampa Bay. All right, Jail. What letter would you like? I will take. Uh, give me a D. I'll take a D. You don't a D. Give me the D, Josh. Ah, bomb. Not, can't give you the D. Not tonight, bro. Not, Not tonight. Not tonight. Maybe Next some time. other time. Uh, <laughs> and Simon over there still counting the letters of people's names. Simon, we're coming to you. Simon doing his pirate. You want to go for it again? You just <laughs> no, no. I have a name that fits one of them, but not a teammate. And I'm not, even if I thought I knew it, I would answer a question this time. That was a 
that was brutal last time finding something that fit and then just having the rug ripped out from underneath Man. me like that. <laughs> Give me a question, Josh. Going back to the FanDuel sports book for this one. All right. Okay. The Denver Broncos and Pittsburgh Steelers game. True or false? It has a 44.5 total points over under. False. That is absolutely false. It's a, it's lower, man. You do not expect to score points in this game. It's 39 and a half points right now. 39 and a half wow. points. Wow. That is a low over under uh, for uh, that game, in my opinion. But I'm not taking the over either. So, <laughs> uh, Simon, what letter would you like? M. M as a mother, right? Yep. No M. No oh, my M. gosh. This is brutal. Oh, you guys are just leaving it there for me, huh? <laughs> yeah, Justin, we Justin. didn't want to give you any advantages. We knew it would make it back to you, so we purposely tanked. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> I got to just, I got to run the table then. <laughs> yes, you do. You better. You better. All right, Justin, we're coming to you with this one. You ready? Yes, sir. Let's do it. All right. Throughout the course of the entire season so far in a PPR league, who has more fantasy points? Is it Zach Moss or is it Melvin Gordon? Ooh. Yeah. I'm going to go with Melvin Gordon. Melvin Gordon is the correct yeah. answer, Justin. I, that must be I, I, too. I, I, I'm, I'm impressed because uh, I could see easily going Zach Moss there with how well he's been playing lately, but Melvin Gordon has been a little bit more consistent throughout the entire season. Well, that was my thought process. I was like, okay, Zach Moss took two games really to get going. Melvin Gordon actually had a really good start to the season. He had that long 70-yard touchdown, yeah. and he's been a consistent factor in the last three games. So that was my thought process. Absolutely. All right, Justin, what letter would you like? Let's go with S. He's taking the S here. And that is a good oh, guess, Justin, because oh, okay. that is going to give oh, okay. you $1,500 ah. into your bank okay. or into your uh, amount for this round. Justin, you can buy a vowel, or we can move on to another question. Oh, I think I all right. Let's let's go to the he, next question. He's kind of over there, like man. I think I could solve this. All yeah. right, all right. Uh, dude, all right, I want to go to the next one. I'm at you with a little bit of a tricky one here. Um, it's okay. a tricky one in my opinion. Over the course of the entire season, who has more receptions? Who has more receptions over the course of the entire season so far? Is it Chris Godwin or is it Najee Harris? I know Chris Goblin's had a pretty good year so far. He's had a, I think his last game wasn't, was kind of a dud, but Najee had 19 receptions one game, or 19 targets, I should say, one game. So uh, I think I'm going to go with Najee Harris. Najee Harris is the correct answer. He has 26 catches. He is currently tied for 11th in the NFL in terms of total receptions out of all players. 11. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. All right. Great. great job. Great job, Justin. What letter would you like? Mm, let's go with an R. He's taking the R. He's taking the R, fellas. And there are two R's. All right, Justin. So you can still buy a vowel here. We can move on to another question. And if you get this one and the next letter right, you're yeah, just automatically banking that money. Let's uh let's let's buy a vowel. Let's get an I. All right. You're buying an I. He's buying an I. There are two eyes. You're gonna lose two hundred dollars okay. because of that. But uh, hey, I can't get I the it. second player. I can't. Who what is that? that? Oh, I got it. I got it. Uh oh, know. JL saying I you got, got it. Right oh, okay. you, Justin. I got the. I know the one player, obviously. But I Justin, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you this real fast. Like it's tough when you're on the spot like this. But I am yeah. going to need an answer from you. Do you want another question? Buy a vowel. Let's do another question. All right, we're moving on to another question. Over the course of the season so far, who has more receiving yards? Who has more receiving yards this season so far? Is it Travis Kelsey or is it Tyler Lockett? Mm. <laughs> That's a good one. That's including last night too, right? It is including last night. Got to go with Lockett. Lockett is the correct answer, and if Damn you it. take away his yards from last night, he's still beating Travis Kelsey, but it's very close. <laughs> what letter would you like, Justin? Um, let's go with an N. N as in Nancy. There are two Ns, and that's going to – man, you are banking some money, Justin. You are banking some money. Please take a guess at the puzzle if you can solve. Can I buy a bell? Uh. 
Yeah, I'll let, no, no, you gotta, no. you gotta get some. Oh cards. my god, why don't I know this? I got the second name. I, I don't know what the first one is. It doesn't matter though, because Jail's got it. If Justin doesn't get it, Jail solves. Justin, we need an answer in a couple seconds here. I legit don't even have an answer right now. Chris Carson and uh, I cannot <laughs> and, figure and that I'm, one out, I'm, man. And I'm sorry, Justin. We are going to move on to Jail. Jail, would you like to solve? Or do you yes, want a question? please. So go ahead and solve. Alex Collins, Chris Carson. Oh, oh, Alex Collins. It was the same Alex position too. Alex Collins oh, and Chris Carson. Oh my God! Is when you said answer, when you said Chris Carson, too. Oh, when you said man. Chris Carson, I was like, no, no, he's gonna get it. <laughs> I had Chris Carson early. I just couldn't figure out the second one. I don't know why it, it messed with me. I was thinking through their backs, but yeah, Alex. It Collins looks like there. Scott was right there with you. He said, "And Chris Carson." He had the "And, and Chris Carson." Carson. I should have guessed it. C because I knew the C was there. So I should have did C. I would have got it with the C. And FanDuel saying Simon doing his best Nick Young impression with that shot I took at the beginning <laughs> right there. <laughs> so I, I want to say, Justin, you might not have been able to solve this puzzle, but because you were able to get Jeez. questions. You like tripled my, my score, even though I got the puzzle right. <laughs> you were still, you were dominating right now, Justin. You were dominating. You know, I walked in here and, and expected nothing less. So uh, I want to thank the Trade Five crew for giving me some luck. Let's get it. <laughs> yeah, it's that not even a hustle fantastic. when you come in. You're like, yeah, I'm about, I'm about to beat you. I'm, I'm about to beat you. <laughs> and then you just do it. <laughs> so, so real fast, guys. Uh, Chris Carson, he has a chronic long-term neck injury, and I don't know exactly what that means for his future uh, throughout the season, but it's scary. Um, and Alex Collins seems to be the next man up. I think Nick Alex Collins has to be owned in every single league. You agree, Simon? Yeah, yeah. Um, at this point, you you have to roster Alex Collins if he's not rostered, if he's on your waiver wire. We don't know the severity of this Chris Carson injury, and like you said, Josh, a ne- like when you hear long term neck injury, that's that's really scary, even outside of a football context. And then you put Chris Carson on a football field, a, a relatively violent sport. Like uh, I, I am very concerned about this. Um, I, I don't think it's just Alex Collins that Alex Collins needs to be owned, but I think some of the other backs there in that uh, in that offense could be rostered as well. Like uh, a Travis Homer, I think you could throw on your bench just to see what happens. Um, I'm not sold on Alex Collins solely as the answer here. I think he's the most likely answer that Seattle goes to, but there could be some value in the other backs on that team as well. If Chris D- Carson DJ Dallas got some work as well, a little bit more yeah. as uh, I, I think he'll be probably more of the pass catcher. I'll say for this team. Um, while Alex Collins is more of the uh, first and second down back. Uh, Justin, do you agree here? Yeah, I think we saw Alex, Alex Collins get the work that you'd like to see out of a RB two or a flex option and getting what 15 carries. I think he had a red zone touch too. So you like to see that obviously for PPR format, he had a couple catches too. So I would, I mean, I'd feel comfortable with him as a flex option or a bye week RB2. Um, and yeah, DJ Dallas is a, a flyer in a deeper league, like pure 14 team league and, and need a little bit of, of help, a Hail Mary type play. DJ Dallas is, is also an uh, excellent option. I'm with you. Jail, anything to add here? No, not, not anything at all. Fandle did say Russell Wilson also might be out for a month. Yikes. That finger injury looked gross last night. Let me just tell there's you. A, there's a whole <laughs> lot of finger talk after the game when they had Matthew mallet, Stafford. Mallet finger. No, no yeah, you have chicken fingers. Matthew yeah. Stafford in that interview was like, yeah, it popped out. Popped it back in, got on the field. Now did like, anyone mm. did and anyone then, <laughs> get the vibe that he was kind of like taking a shot at Russell Wilson? I, I was like, it's like I was, I don't know. I was just put it back. I was good to go, you know. Little, it, was, it wasn't a big deal. I got back out there. there, you know. Yeah, That's yeah. so. I, yeah, I love when they showed they like showed him on the screen in front of him the picture of uh, of Russell Wilson's finger, and he's just like, wow, yeah, that looks like it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> it was gross. It was gross. All right, guys, I want to give you chance to catch up to justin here i'm not sure if it's oh, gonna I got happen it. though no i got it just give me another okay. news give me another news one i'm going to run the <laughs> table with these questions all those letters up for grabs and then well guess what simon i think money. you're gonna like this next category that we are coming mm. to you with first all right we have a season highlight lots of letters oh my here. god lots of letters good luck <laughs> this is a season highlight. This is something that I think uh, has occurred throughout the season. That's uh, worth noting. Worth noting. Simon, I don't think you're going to be able to come up with this off the bat. So uh, you want to get into the first question here? Yeah, I need a question. I was trying, but it's not going to happen. <laughs> Do it. That would be so freaking <laughs> impressive. All right, Simon. Throughout the course of the season so far, who has more fantasy points? 
throughout the course of the season. In PPR? So four. In, a, in a PPR league, yes, yes. Is it Jacoby Myers? Or is it Corey Davis? Jacoby Myers. I'm sorry, it's Corey Davis. Damn, I I'm thought sorry, consistency from Davis. Myers would have been enough to get him over there, but... Corey Davis is currently ranked as the 21st wide receiver in a PPR league, while Jacoby Myers is currently ranked as the 30th. Okay. So, uh, Jacoby Myers, he, the touchdowns are really holding him back. They're really holding him back. Absolutely. I, I, if I had to guess, he has more reception. Yeah, Corey Davis has 16 receptions. Like Jacoby Myers, 27. Holy crap. Wow. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking, I knew he had no touchdowns, but I was thinking he had gotten enough work for him to be above Corey Davis. But uh, what if Jacoby Myers has like a like five touchdown game this weekend? <laughs> Just like super over correction. All right, Justin, we're coming to you. You ready? Ready to go. All right. Justin, who has more receptions so far this season? Who has caught the ball more throughout the entire season? Is it Christian Kirk or is it LaVisca Chenault? Mm. Oh, hmm. options there, huh? As far as catches. So we're probably looking at like, I, oh, I, like, I know. They had one game. Kirk's had a couple, but he's had a couple duds too. I'm going to rock with. This is tough, man. I'm going to go with Christian yeah. Kirk. Ah, I'm sorry, Justin. That is incorrect. Oh, LaVisca Chenault was the answer. They, they, were, they were closer than I would have liked, but, you know, LaVisca Chenault has uh, 19 reception while Christian Kirk has 16. Yep. Uh, I wow. typically don't That's like making them that close. closer than I thought. Yeah, yeah. I, I would have um, thought it was LaVisca by, by, by a lot, by a while. By a while. Yes. <laughs> well, it's by a while. We are coming to you, JL. Are you ready for I'm your ready. question? Yes, right. sir. You sure? I'm sure. <laughs> okay. I'm certain. Who has more receiving yards throughout the season so far? Who has more receiving yards throughout the season so far? Is it Henry Ruggs or is it Amari Cooper? Ruggs. Ruggs is the correct answer. I'm impressed. I'm impressed by it that is. answer. Uh, I feel like Ruggs it's sad. A dot has to be one of the highest. Sad about that answer. <laughs> <laughs> Henry Ruggs is number 15 in the NFL in terms of receiving yards at the wide receiver position, while Amari Cooper's 25th. JL, what letter would you like? Oh, uh, I will take an S. An S? Yeah, right. There are three S's, JL. There are three S's in this puzzle. Oh, uh, okay. That's going to put $1,500 uh, take... into your score for this round. You want to buy that? Hmm. Um, no, I'll take another question. We are moving on to another question. And we are going to go to uh, fantasy points throughout the season again. Who has more fantasy points so far this season? Is it Aaron Jones or is it Saquon Barkley? Jones. Aaron Jones is absolutely the correct answer. Aaron Jones is currently the number five overall. Running back in PPR leagues. JL, what letter would you like? Uh, I'll take a T. He's taking the T. Oh, there are two T's. There are two T's. Oh, okay. That's going to put $2,500 into your bank. You can buy a vowel still here, JL. If we get into another question and you get it correctly and get the letter correctly, you get to bank that money. I'll take uh, I'll take another question. He's taking the other question. All right, JL. At the quarterback position, who has more passing touchdowns so far this season? Who has more passing touchdowns so far this season? Is it Dak Prescott or is it Matt Ryan? Prescott. Dak Prescott is absolutely the correct answer. Great job, JL. I what thought you were like? tricking me. I thought you were getting in my head. I wasn't. Um, I'll take a, H. you know what? I'll take a, nope, an H. Don't blow this. I'll take an which, H. Which, an H? There are three H's. Ooh, God, wow, really you collected that. a lot of money this round and you are banking it. Can you figure out what this puzzle says? No, no idea. All right, Simon, <laughs> we're coming to you. You Not ready? A clue. Yeah, what the hell word is that with the H's in it? I'm, I'm like looking yeah. at that like, that's not a word. I don't know. Did uh, I spell something Aiden wrong? Hurst, 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 Hurst. <laughs> it's, it's definitely spelled correctly. Ha-ha! Ha-ha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Simon, in a six-point yep. per passing touchdown league, all right, so you can probably guess I'm going to talk about quarterbacks here. In a six-point per <laughs> passing a... touchdown league, who has more fantasy points oh. over the course of this season is the answer Derek Carr or is it Tom Brady? Six Ooh. points per passing touchdown. 
I wish I was more confident in this one. I'm going to go Derek Carr. I'm sorry. It's Tom Brady. Damn. Tom oh. Brady sitting at the fifth highest scoring Shoot. quarterback so far. This I'm season. off my Derek game Carr. today. I'm yeah, getting you, killed. You are, you are a little bit. Derek Carr, I will say, is number two in terms of passing yards. Number I'm one if you take out Matthew guy, Stafford. You know. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what happened. Justin happened. showed up, said, I'm going to win, comes in, bank 6,800 bucks, and I'm just off my game. Can't get it in there, Justin. <laughs> it's all good, Simon. I know you're going to come back at some point, man. Hey, we're running, right? out, of time. Coming, right? we're running out of time. All right, Justin, we're coming to you. You ready? <laughs> yes. I'll take right, a question. The question. Oh, right. I, I was just going to go. <laughs> In a six-point per passing touchdown league, though, who has more fantasy points over the course of oh. the season? Right. Oh, oh, look, look. He's, he's just figuring something out over there. Who has more points over the course of the season? A six-point per passing touchdown league. Is the answer Aaron Rodgers or Kirk Cousins? Mm, I know Kirk is up there pretty high. He had a bad game last week. Aaron Rodgers has had... A dud, but he's had a couple good games too. I'm gonna take a stab at. Let's go, A. Raj. I am sorry. The oh, was, is Kirk was Cousins? Kirk. Oh, I was leaning Aaron right Rogers and went left. Is the 18th overall scoring fantasy quarterback in six point per passing touchdown leagues, while Kirk Cousins is 11. JL, Man. JL, how you feeling down there? Feeling pretty good. I got you're, some of the you're puzzle. Feeling, most you're most of the puzzle. Oh, oh, do you? <laughs> I got the whole thing. I think now I'm, I was ugh. jail. If you miss this, I'll get a thousand dollars. All right, Jay, are you ready for your question? Yep. All right. Over the course of the entire season, who has more receptions? Who has more receptions over the course of the season? Is the answer CD lamb or Deandre Swift? Swift. Swift is correct. JL. Great job. Money. What a letter would you like? Or yeah. What a letter would you like? Um, let's see. I'll go with, um, I'll go with a, uh, gosh, um, I'll go with an R. He's taking the R and there are three R's. There are three R's. JL. Gonna put $1,500 into your round score. What, what do you think? You said you figured out some of the puzzle you're saying. Do you want to buy a vowel here? Yeah, I'll buy a vowel. Uh, can I have an uh an e yes you can oh my one two three four five six e's six e's gonna put you down nine hundred dollars but if you can solve the puzzle you get a thousand. reindeer yes yeah, yeah you figured yes. it out you knew it reindeer um no, can show. i buy another vowel yes uh may i buy an uh an i yes one two three four reindeer. five eyes all right, JL. Uh, can I I'm buy another bat? <laughs> you can. All right, this is the last one I'll buy. Uh, All right. An O. Yes. There's one O. That doesn't help me. All right, take another question. All right, JL. <laughs> you will take another question. <laughs> Simon, um, Simon's up there. Simon's up there like, I know it too. Oh, miss it, JL. It. Come on. It. You put way too over many letters it. on the board for me. Oh, I got it. Wait, no, over I don't. The over the course of the season so far, who has more fantasy points? Is it Jonathan Taylor or Chase Edmonds? And it's a PPR league. Oh, Chase Edmonds. Chase Edmonds is the correct answer, JL. Yeah! Yeah, oh, okay, go for a letter, JL. You uh, used all your money buying that while you're out. I literally, <laughs> I spent it all. It was worth it. Uh, okay, so letter, I'm going to go with a... Uh, a C. It's going with the C. Yeah. There are two C's. You got to guess at the puzzle now, JL. Okay. Uh, can I? Uh, okay. I have to solve. Uh, yes. Cup is the highest scoring wide receiver. You piece of oh. garbage. <laughs> <laughs> you that is absolutely correct. <laughs> Second uh, time. I love, you, I love with the amount I love of Scott hours you in. needed. <laughs> Cup fire is the highest score a storied fire reindeer. <laughs> fire reindeer. Um, but I believe someone got it uh pretty uh pretty early. Um Scott saying cup is the highest scoring receiver. He said that a wow. couple of minutes ago. And um, let's see. J Wall knew J Wall actually got it first. Um and then oh, he no said way. No, he didn't. Wide receiver is the last two words. J Wall is killing it. Um let me let me ask you guys. Uh, is Cup gonna keep this up? I mean, did did last night bother you? It was like seeing Woods get all these receptions and targets. Justin, is Cup going to be a top ten receiver the rest of the season? 
I think he's a top 10 asset when I think everybody kind of saw the value early on and thought automatic top five, automatic top three, just off of the connection that Stafford and Cup have. But teams adjust and the other teams know, OK, we're not going to just let Cooper Cup beat us. So over the course of the year, I can see him definitely being, especially with the lead that he has right now, uh, being top two or th- I think he's either one or two right now. Um, but already kind of having to start, I can see him being a top 10 asset, probably more of that five to 10 range, if you ask me. Fair enough. Fair enough. Any, anyone disagree? I, I agree with him. I, I no. still think Cup's the wide receiver to own uh, there in LA. I, th- I think you can play both of them, but Cup's definitely the uh, yeah. the one that I would prefer to start rest of the season. Yeah. It, yeah, I, I completely agree. And, we're and if you need to, puzzle. if you need to flex Van Jefferson, uh, I think you can. He's seeing enough that I'm comfortable throwing him in a flex in an emergency. Uh, I like that offense and I like one. him as an option. Yep. I mean, we got to remember back to the days where Jerry Goff was able to support three fantasy wide receivers when Brandon yep. Cooks was there. Mm-hmm. I, I think I just, Matthew uh, Stafford can do it. I, I, in any time I have an excuse to mention Van Jefferson in a fantasy context, <laughs> I'm going to do it. I, I really <laughs> like mean, Van Jefferson. <laughs> me too. I got a feeling oh, Deshaun right. Jackson's going to own a fantasy oh. the FanDuel lineup one day. There's going to be You're one right. day he has he's like gonna, he's 150 with two TDs. Yeah. Yep. He'll do it twice in a game and it's just going to be bonkers. All right, so JL took the lead. Justin, oh, you let JL take the lead there. It hurts my soul. It hurts so Justin, my soul here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to solve a good chunk of it. I'm going to give you the assist. I'm going to solve a good chunk right here first. <laughs> off the pass glass, it off right? to you, and then and then you take the W with this last puzzle. And then Josh is going to Josh Matthew and hand me the win. <laughs> yes. You know, I was tired of solving yes. them all, man. I had to give you guys an opportunity, you know, to catch up and make it a game. So I just got to close it now. Thank That's you, Justin. All. Thank you. I, I Venmo'd you. This is embarrassing. <laughs> JL, now I know what you feel like some of the other games. <laughs> now I'm glad I now I'm glad I solved that puzzle and didn't hand J- it off to you. J- JL is been on a roll lately. Like I keep like I've mentioned earlier. I didn't uh, win this game at all, but for the first like hundred times we played. <laughs> Guys, this is a fantasy trade. These are two fantasy players that have pretty similar value um that I saw get traded recently. Oh, the name I always oh. use. So Simon, we're coming to you first. Yeah, I need you a question. Want to, you want to get a little weird here? You want to get a little weird? No, no, I'm scarred weird. from the Tony Pollard Amari Cooper answer. That is, uh, uh, it just keeps replaying in my head. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Simon, we're, we're going to get into this one. Uh, we're going to the FanDuel Sportsbook for you. Uh, okay. You know, I, I don't care if you care. Um, true or false? <laughs> the New York Giants are nine point underdogs to the Dallas Cowboys this weekend. False. That is false. They are seven point underdogs. Yeah, that seemed way Good too job, high. Good job, Simon. What what letter would you like, Simon? T. He's taking the T. There's a T. I know it. There's oh, one see, I That's told you. I said there is a T. So he literally I, I said there's the a T. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, Simon, you can buy a vowel, or we can move on to the next question. So, JL, just to break it to you, I know you were trying to fit Stefan Diggs in that first name, but it is no longer Stefan Diggs. You're gonna have to <laughs> thank, find thank someone. Thank you. There. I did. I did determine that through the power um, of deduction. I need that, another question. Uh, believe it or not, Simon is absolutely correct here. Simon is absolutely correct. Actually, can I buy a vowel first? I'll buy an E. You're going to buy an E? Yep. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, you can buy an E. There are two E's. Well, that didn't help at all. Um, give me, uh, give me another question. I'm going to give you another question. I'm going to give it to you. All right. (laughs) Uh, so over the course of the season at PPR league, who has more fantasy points? Who has more fantasy points in a PPR league over the course of the season so far? Is it Travis Kelsey or is it Cordero Patterson? Patterson. Patterson is correct. Great job, Simon. What letter would you like? S. He's taking the S. There are two of them. Great job, buddy. You got this. (laughs) Okay. Okay. One more, one more question. Uh, I'll buy another vowel. Give me an A. There are two A's. Hmm. So Justin, just just to break it down, there there's a first name and a last name, followed then a dash, and then our first name, last name. Right? You got it. I, I think I'm kind of getting the hang. Of, yeah, I think I might have yeah. it. Okay. I need. Just, uh, just make I, sure. need <laughs> I need another question. All right, Simon is looking for another question, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to you just because you asked nicely. All right, Simon. Over the course of the season, who has more fantasy points? Who has more fantasy points over the course of the season so far? And I thought about hitting you with this tricky one, but I won't do it to you because you know I, I want to be nice to you. But is it <laughs> is it Antonio Gibson or is it Tony Pollard? 
Gibson, right? Yeah, it's Gibson. I'm I was about to say Pollard right? had a big game, but it's got to be Gibson, right? I thought I could double um, trick, yeah. Yeah, I thought I thought about being double tricked there for a second, but then I uh, I thought, I, you I thought do about it to me and twice. I won't do this going forward. I I thought about uh, I I had a one here for Christian McCaffrey, but I don't want to mess with that. You know, Ooh. I don't think yeah, that's too tough to account for. I would say. But Simon, what letter would you like? This is your third one. Oh God, this is for to bank some money. If I get this right, I put some money in my bank. I don't get skunked. No, but you I have still have to get the letter. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have to get yeah. the letter right. I have no yeah. idea what these words are though, so I, I'm just taking a shot. I'll go. They're the names of players. N. They, on, they please, are the names of players. Please say there's an right? N in there. Yes. There is one N. Yay! Yes. So you bank that money. Can you solve the puzzle, you did Simon? It. No, I have no idea Stephon what either Diggs of these players are. Stephon Diggs. <laughs> yes. Yes, JL. Ah. <laughs> Damn it. All right. All right. We are coming to you, Justin. Um, you can solve the puzzle. Just so you know, you get $1,000 if you solve the puzzle. I will let oh. you know this is our last puzzle, and that will so put you in the lead it, you if you're even oh. able to solve it. Um, I but already got do, one. Do you want to go I already got one, question? Justin. Pressure's yeah. on. Let's, let's, the, go with the, uh, let's go with the question. All right, the man wants a question, and we are talking about running back fantasy points in a PPR league over the course of the season. Who has more fantasy points over the course of the season? Is it Ezekiel Elliott or is it James Robinson? Zeke. It is Zeke. It is Zeke. Yeah, it's got to be six overall oh. running back. Jay. Hey, James oh, Robinson playing it. real well lately, though, right? What letter would you like, Justin? Uh, let's go with R. He's taking the R. Yep, that's a good oh, letter. That four, should give it to you right there. R's. There are four R's, Justin. Justin, you can buy a vowel. No, you can't. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and solve. No! Solve. I think I got it. Let's go with Robert Jones and Damian Harris. Who is it? Robert Jones and Damian Harris. <sighs> I'm sorry, Justin. That is incorrect. Oh! You no! missed up! <laughs> You messed up, JL. What no! are you doing here? No, was that not? He messed it up. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Can I solve? Yes, Robert Woods. Oh, Damian my god. Harris. I should have bought the bell. I don't know who Robert Jones is, but I love him. Ronald <laughs> Jones. I don't know. I said Robert Ronald Jones. Jones. Oh my god. Oh my god. Great for, for the win. Justin, <laughs> you, you, you kill it with all these questions. Oh You're answering God. every single one right, pretty much. You're answering all these questions right. And then Robert Jones hits you. Robert, Robert Jones, Jones, man. Jones. I was talking about a dynasty player three years from now. He goes to USC High School, man. This was the <laughs> oh all said God. no. This is the equivalent of, of the player throwing the ball up as they run into the end zone, not realizing it. Yes, That's what just it, happened it's right so now. It's so perfect. Deshaun <laughs> Jackson did, man. Justin, oh, I am crushed. And then oh, FanDuel said Justin went 28 and 3. <laughs> he went full <laughs> Falcons <laughs> right there with that one, my man. He said <laughs> Robert Jones. And DK oh, Metcalf from Simon. The sign should have been, I said Robert Jones. You guys said, who? <laughs> I didn't I want who? to do that. I didn't want to do it. I was like, <laughs> oh my God. I that's I so funny. I don't know why I'm stuck on that. Good win, JL, man. Got some former linebacker for the Cowboys, Rams, that. Dolphins, and Washington it. football team, Robert, Robert Jones. Jones. Yeah. We were just taking oh, the man. deep cut right there, my man. Oh, man. Make those players. Hey, I'm trying to make the win happen, man. <laughs> I just want to Robert. Jones. I just want to thank you so much for handing JL that win. Uh, I know I have been with you a little it. bit before this, and he needed that for his uh, – you know, for a little bit of self guys hear I, won? So I appreciate it. Well, you know, I got the Venmo from JL. I got the Venmo from you, Simon. We're all good on my end. Man. <laughs> I, I got to say, Justin, you had one of the highest scores, but JL, I, he might have set a record like right, right there with $8,500 $8, collected. I, I'm not sure. But I can that, check that's definitely I had one a, of the highest. I had scores. a big game, and I don't want to just hand yeah. that to JL right there. I'm not but that it was to a him, good but score. It's one of the that's... highest scores for sure. I'm willing, I'm it's definitely top five. Definitely top five. At the very this guy said, in suffer a jail. <laughs> <laughs> That's a stretch. But, but jail, I like it. Gr- listen, Robert. You, I, I mean, Robert, <laughs> Justin. I called you Robert. Robert, Robert <laughs> Jones. So <laughs> Robert Just, Jones. I'm never going to live that down now. I'm always going to think his name is Robert Jones now. I'm going to be like, hey, <laughs> Robert, there, letter four, and that's getting replaced by Robert Jones Robert right now. Robert Jones. Oh, my there, goodness. There was, one, there was one of these uh, episodes, like one of these shows we had a while back where it was an obvious Tyler Lockett was the answer, and Simon so confidently said, I know it. He's DK a, Metcalf. Well, in the world, and it's, it's, <laughs> he's a Seahawks wide receiver. He's the yes. man in Seattle. And so everyone was like, 
exactly like right there where we were all certain that you got the answer right. And then I come out and I go, DK Metcalf. And it, it was, was so perfect. It was a, like very oh, obviously yeah. Tyler Lockett. But Justin, thank you so much for coming on and playing with us today. We're going to have to have you back to come back and get that Love W. It. Come back for some redemption. I really appreciate you taking the time. And everyone, if you do not already follow Justin, make sure you go follow him on Twitter at Justin Henry. And the E is a three instead of an E. Check out his content on TikTok with Fantasy Gods and with FanDuel. He is putting out a bunch of social content for FanDuel. Justin, uh, thank you so much again, my man. This was an absolute thank blast. You. Man, and this is fun. Show. Definitely want to do it again. And uh, had fun, man. JL, I got I to gotta come back for that, man. I need to earn that trophy again. <laughs> it, it won't be hard. It will be just as easy as this time. <laughs> You really did play an all. You played an awesome game, Justin. I, I got to reiterate. You really did. You really did. No, I, just I just so love cool being on. Here. I love talking fantasy and trivia, man. This is right up my alley. So whenever you guys want to have me back, I'd love to be here. And I appreciate you guys having me on. Absolutely. Got to make it happen. It's got to so make it happen. Changing all my team names to the Robert <laughs> Jones. <laughs> Robert Jones. <laughs> hey, Simon, You're I'm welcome. proud of you for getting points on this one, buddy. Thank you. I was you so great. nervous with that last letter. I was like sweating. Like, is that, your new rule came there. into play like three it did. times this game. Yeah. Four times this game, I, I like think. it. I like it. Yeah. Hey. Guys, that is it for us today. Before we go, a couple quick reminders. One, if you're watching this right now, that means you're already on the FanDuel YouTube or Twitch streams. If you're on YouTube, subscribe. And if you're on Twitch, follow. FanDuel is putting out fire content all the time. Guys like Justin, like us, and a bunch of other <laughs> awesome content creators are there for FanDuel. So make sure you're in there getting all of that content. Um, and follow them on TikTok, Twitter. It's FanDuel everywhere. Um, we are the Front Yard Fantasy team are live on the Front Yard Fantasy YouTube and Twitch channels five days a week, Monday through Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern time. So make sure you're checking that out. And then on Sunday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern time, we are live breaking down the Sunday night football or the Sunday football games from a fantasy perspective. So tune in for the Sunday night breakdown as well. Guys, on FanDuel. this was on FanDuel's YouTube and Twitch channels. This uh, this was one of my favorite. I had a ton of fun today, Justin. That's I really lot. appreciate you taking yeah, the thank time. You, You're an absolutely yeah. awesome guest. Can't wait to have appreciate you back. It. Everyone watching, have a great weekend. Enjoy Woo! your football, and we will see you on Sunday night. Until then, go Trey Lance, and we will see you guys Sunday night. Adios, everyone. Go Robert Jones. Great to meet you, everyone.